Hello, I'm Tom from the Great Lakes Children's Museum and today I want to have you help me look at the inside of an owl pellet. But before we can jump into what is inside this little thing, we need to know what this is. Okay, so what is an owl pellet? Owls digest their food differently from people. Normally when you eat, you eat your food and it goes in your belly and you pull all the nutrients out and you use those to do different activities. Owls like a great horned owl, like my little puppet friend over here, they eat a little bit differently. So they find some prey, because they're a predator, and that might be a little mouse, and they can eat that mouse up. But instead of the mouse going through their body, here's what it does. It goes into the middle of the owl, and then just like what you do to your dinner, all of the nutrients get absorbed into the owl's body, but instead, of passing that mouse out, what they do is they regurgitate or they puke it back up. Now people only do that when they get sick. It's not part of our normal eating process, but that's how these guys do that. When it comes out, it's about this size. And then somebody comes along and finds it and wraps it in tin foil and then they actually bake these so that they're sanitary. And then we can look through it and see if there's anything in there that the owl ate. So owl pellets come from the inside of owls. So I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves. And we're gonna look inside this pellet and see if we can find anything that the owl ate. There won't be anything messy in here. The only thing that remains when they digest is hair and teeth and sometimes little bones, so that's what we're gonna look for. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwrap my owl pellet all the way. There we go. That's what it looks like. It's just a little ball of hair. And the way we look through an owl pellet is we just very carefully try and pick things apart. This one's really tightly wrapped, but we try and see if we can find anything. And we'll try and sometimes even break it apart by hand a little bit. But we have to be very careful because the bones inside are really delicate and they'll break really easy. And if we break them all, and we won't be able to tell what kind of animal is in there. Okay, so what kind of animals do owls eat? Owls eat really small rodents most of the time. So sometimes that's mice or shrews or moles or even very, very small birds. Some owls, like the great horned owl, like my puppet friend I showed you, are really big predators. So they go after bigger prey. And some eat tiny, tiny little rodents. I think I can see a bone right here. I want to see if I can get it without damaging it. There we go. There's one to look at. There's a bone. And let's see what else we can find in here. Sometimes in an owl pellet, you only have one animal. Sometimes, if the owl is really lucky that day and it caught a couple of different types of animal, it can have a couple different animals in here. And that makes it actually really hard to tell what kind of animal the owl ate, because sometimes you see a couple of different things. Now take a look at that. That's a neat little bone that I found. That is probably part of a scapula. So that's a shoulder bone of a little rodent or a little shrew. And if we're really lucky and we're really diligent, we'll find a skull in here and we'll be able to tell what kind of animal it came from. We can also use our little guide and try and tell what type of animals these came from. Here's another little bone. This bone has a Y in it. I've got to look that up. Oh, there we go. 
it's just about able to break this all the way open. We're gonna keep trying to take little, little bones out. I always think this is really fun because I'm always curious, what do animals eat? What are they finding out there? And you can get a little bit of a glimpse into the life of an owl by looking at what they leave behind. This is really tightly packed. There are so many little things in here. All right, I think I found a little skull. I'm gonna try not to damage it as I try to clean it off. Use my little scraper tool. Just try and take a couple pieces off at a time. I said you have to be very careful and you have to be very patient in taking these apart. I feel like if I squeeze my fingers at all, the whole thing would just get crushed. Be very careful with this. Okay. So I'm going to set this down here so that you can see it. Look at that. That is a little animal skull. It was a little creature that an owl hunted down. Now, we might be able to tell what kind of animal it came from by doing a comparison. Scientists use comparisons all the time. They look at what they know and they compare it to what they don't know. We know what all of these bones are because somebody labeled them, but we don't know what this is. Let's see. Is it a gopher? Gopher is way too big. We can go by size. You know what? It's pretty close to the size of a mouse skull. Let's use our powers of observation. Is the shape the same? I see two little eye holes on the mouse skull. I can see that on what we found. And I can see the mouse skull kind of has a mouth that goes down makes a kind of a hook, and that looks like what we see here too. So I think this might be a little mouse skull. Could be a shrew too, I'm not sure. You know what I see as a difference is the jaw in the mouse skull and the shrew skull between the two things that we know. I wonder if I keep looking through here, if I will find a jawbone, and then maybe we'll know for sure. We can peek through here and see if we can find any other little pieces. And there are so many. I'm wondering if there is more than one animal in this one owl pellet. And that happens a lot. Sometimes owls will digest their whole meal for the day. And that could be several different little animals. See another bone in here. I'm going to try and take it out without breaking it. There we go. Look at that. Wow. You might be able to tell what kind of bone that is because it's big enough. I think I see another skull in here. Can you see right here? This might be the top of another one. And this curve is what forms 
the hole for the eye. So if I'm really careful, scrape away some of this fur, maybe we can get another skull out of here. Take it out so carefully. Well, this is definitely a skull of another creature. So we definitely have at least two animals in this owl pellet, which means this owl had a full belly. That's good for the owl. Now I want to compare the size of these two skulls. See how much comparing we're doing? We're looking at one thing next to another. Those are pretty close, aren't they? They might be from the same type of animal. Still haven't found that jawbone that might give us an answer, whether it's a shrew or a mouse. And we might not find it, it might not be in here. But if we're really lucky, there will be a key to what the animal is. we go. I'm going to set this down. This is part of a little hip. That's a hip bone of a rodent. A scientist would call that the sacrum. Oh, look at that. I think we have matching bones. That is pretty exciting. So now we have the two hip bones of a rodent. I think that's pretty exciting because we are on our way to being able to make a full skeleton. I sometimes think about people who hunt dinosaur bones and how they always want to find the whole skeleton. I feel that way when I'm looking through an owl pellet. I am always hoping that I can find a whole skeleton and learn something about the animal inside. Keep finding little, little bones. And what I'm doing is I'm just pulling really, really carefully with my fingers. If I put any pressure, I feel like something might break, I stop. But sometimes I can pull and a little piece of hair comes away from a little bone. Look at how small some of these little bones are. I always wonder about the owl that the pellets came from. Now is this a big owl who only ate very small animals that day? Or is it a small animal who can't be eating gophers and rats, and so he goes for the little mice and shrews, the really, really small ones. That might be part of a spine. Oh, there we go. I've been talking about wanting to find a jawbone. I think we just found one. In fact, Yes, we did. I can still see the little, little teeth. Oh my gosh. So I'll set it down there so you can see it. And I'll turn it so that you can see the teeth. Okay, so why are there bones and teeth 
in this owl pelt? Well, that's because the owl has no use for the bones and the teeth and the hair. They're just not nutritious. It's like if you eat an orange, you're left over with the peel. Why don't you eat the peel? Well, the peel is not good for you. It's not healthy. So you don't wind up digesting that. Owls just eat the whole animal and then they see what is in there and helpful to them. And oh my gosh, I just found, I think I just found another jawbone. Well, now we can do that comparing again. It's so important to science. We can compare the two and see if they're the same. Let me get them pointed the same way for you and get this a little bit more cleaned up. Still some hair on the back side here. One of the cool things about owl pellets is you can find them in barns and in woods. Just have to make sure you have permission to go where you're going. You always have to be careful when you're looking at animal tracks and looking for animals, but you can find these. All right, so let's look at the two of these. They look pretty close. They might be from the same type of animal or even the same animal. Although, I think these both form, yeah, these both form the left side. So these are from two different animals and the teeth look really similar. So I'm going to put this on our glass. Let's see if we can identify what it comes from. Again, we'll start too big. Is it a vole? No, that's way too big. That's not even close. If we look over here, that looks pretty close. And if we move it over by the shrew, whoops, there we go. What do you think? Does it look more like the shrew? I think it looks just like the mouse. So I think that's a jawbone from a mouse. And that makes me think that these skulls are from a mouse too. So I think that on the day that the owl made this owl pellet, he ate two mice. And there might be more in this pellet. That's kind of the fun of it. You get to see what's inside. So let's see what we found. We have two skulls, definitely from mice. So I'm gonna guess or hypothesize that these bones are from mice too. So this is from a mouse shoulder. And this is a mouse leg bone. And this is a mouse hip bone. And here's another one. So we can start to recreate the mouse. And if we have enough of these pieces, we can see how they go together. See how that works? Well, that's pretty exciting. So we looked inside an owl pellet uh, probably from a great horned owl, and we found at least two mice we could tell for sure, and we found some of their bones. We were able to tell what kind of bones they are. I'm gonna go through the rest of this owl pellet and take out the rest of the bones, and uh, if you have questions about owls, let us know. Thank you.